Bugs Hardaway was a director at the Looney Tunes studio and he was given the job to do a picture. He decided he would put a rabbit suit on that duck and as a result we got Porky's Hare Hunt. That was in 1938. It was just a rabbit with por Porky Pig. However, the public just loved that picture so much and they decided to make another one. So they used this same rabbit again. Chuck Jones now was going to be the director and it was going to be called Presto Changeo. The rabbit uh, is in a magician's hat. And what happens? Two dogs that were running away from the dog catcher stumble into a magician's house and they proceed to get all kind, made all kinds of tricks on them from this rabbit. Now, this was in color. The first picture was in black and white. But then this rabbit, the only thing that was different, he had a pink ear and everything was in color. Well that picture was so funny and it too got a lot of raves. So they decided to make another rabbit picture. But this time they decided he's going to be a gray rabbit. Like this one. Bugs Hardaway also directed that picture and let's see what was it, it was called uh, oh I forgot no but that went over so big Chuck did another one like this and it was called uh, Elmer's Candid Camera and of course the rabbit plays all kinds of terrible tricks on poor Elmer and they decided better make another picture. And so this time Tex Avery was assigned and he did a wild hare. And in that picture the rabbit says, what's up doc? To Elmer Fudd, <coughs> who's now a hunter. And just that what's up doc just got the audience for some reason. And I once asked Tex Avery, how come you had the rabbit say, what's up, Doc? Because that was that just sealed his fate. He says, I know, but I don't understand it. He says, when, when I was in Texas and went to high school, all of us kids called each other Doc. We'd say, hiya, Doc. What's up, Doc? What's doing, Doc? And I just threw that in, never thinking that it was going to be such a lasting thing. <coughs> and it was this picture that they decided they better give that rabbit a name. And Tex suggested Jack E. Rabbit. But nobody liked that. They were all sitting around in a story room with the gal who was a publicity uh, chairman in, in uh, those days. And she's looking at the board while everybody's making all kinds of suggestions. And she sees a rabbit, a model sheet. And on the bottom it says Bugs. Something Bugs. Bugs is. Bug, bugs is Bunny. You're right. And she said, What about Bugs Bunny? And Tex says, Oh, I don't like that name. That's a fuzzy wuzzy name. And the other guys just shrug. But she said, I'm going to go in to see the old man and see what he says. So she went into Schlesinger's office. And she said, Leon, what do you think about Bugs Bunny for our rabbit? He said, I like it. And that was it. So it, he became Bugs Bunny. And uh, er, every picture we did, we did about 12 of them, and they all had a little different. Something was different about them. Every director added something, either made his muzzle white or pink, and they just changed him from one thing to another and finally they decided, decided let's keep him the same and from that time on he appeared like this and that's Bugs Bunny who became worldwide in no time and lasted for generations he had his 50th birthday they had a whole year program where something was doing with Bugs Bunny and now it's really like 70 years, almost 70 years since he was created.
And poor Daffy Duck, he was created first. His release date was April 17, 1937, which was on my birthday. And he was a zany, rat, a zany duck, but he didn't get any respect. And then he became a very greedy, narcissistic type of drug, a duck. And he just got no respect. No parties for him. The only thing they did for him, he, finally, he got a stamp. I think it was a 33 cent stamp, something like that, and that went over pretty big. And a few people, a few cartoon bugs really loved Jaffe, but most everybody loves Bugs Buddy.